I feel rather strange just sitting here in this Manitoba legislature. For it was in this chamber that laws were passed that discriminated against women. Women couldn't even vote. You'd have to go back a long way to know how women had been down, what we'd call downgraded today, over the centuries. But this is the mythology of the period. Women were supposed to obey. Women were housewives. Women were not in public life. Women were not in business. Women could do some office work, uh, but uh, paid uh, with less than half the wages that the men would be paid, even if they were doing the same thing. Women were just uh, uh, not capable. And, and, uh, I don't know, think that they said that they were uh, a lower breed. Uh, they couldn't do that very well, but uh, just incapable. And uh, they went one day to see Sir Rodman Robland, who was the premier of Manitoba at that time, and to ask him to enfranchise women in this province. And, of course, he was uh, uh, very much opposed to it. Uh, he thought it was ridiculous. He told them that, that how absurd and foolish they were. He used some very uncomplimentary words according to the papers of that day. And um, there's no doubt that it was true uh, that um, he just uh, couldn't conceive of uh, women uh, going out and voting. What would they vote for? And, uh, of course, men continued for quite some time believing that their wives ought to vote as they told them to. Probably they did. Uh, I don't know how else it could be, and uh, since they have agreed, or, uh, we would have had uh, some other changes before this time. And uh, there's no objection particularly to that. Well, he made such a fuss over it, uh, and was so um, uh, it was so repugnant to him that it got into the papers. Of course, the opposition papers were very glad to have this story. And Nellie McClung decided that she would put on a mock parliament down in uh, the uh, Walker Theatre. Nellie McClung was a very colorful uh, sort of speaker, an unusual thing, uh, having a woman that could go about and address an audience anywhere. It just happened that my mother and I were visiting in Winnipeg at that time, and so I was able to be at the uh, mock parliament that night. And my recollection of it was that Nellie McClung uh, moving about as uh, the premier and the women sitting on the platform as the members of the house and uh, they were um, deciding whether they should allow men to vote or not. Were men really capable? Wouldn't they go out and make fools of themselves? Uh, they'd, they'd just vote against what women wanted probably. and. Uh, uh, it would be disastrous to business and everything else. And uh, uh, it, was, it was uproariously funny. I remember the laughter of the audience more than I remember what was being said because uh, she had really m uh, made a caricature of Sir Rodman Roblin that would be uh, pretty difficult to, uh, uh, to repeat. And um, it had such an effect that uh, it was said afterward that it had more to do with the defeat of the Roblin government than when they went to the province the next year. That was in 1915, no, 1914. 1915, the government was defeated, and in uh, Mr. T.C. Norris, who was a friend of my father's, uh, one of the first bills they put through in 1916 was the enfranchisement of women in Manitoba, and Saskatchewan, of course, became a province, uh, had to become a province in 1905, and uh, that they followed with their legislation the next year. So Manitoba women, Saskatchewan next, were the first women uh, in Canada to be enfranchised, and the first for most of the, of the continent. <laughs>